confirmation of purchase agreement so what you need to keep in mind is when you um when you uh, when you have a store someone come into the store they want to buy something right wow this is the fourth time <laughs> thing is i need to record this this recording um confirmation of purchase agreement what you need to keep in mind is when you have a store let's say you have a store the person arrive at the store i want to buy something most time the person will get a receipt on the receipt you will see what the person bought right it's obvious same apply online online when you order something in a shop in a uh, web shop or whatever you will get a confirmation email and in the email you will see what you bought and the product or services and then you will get hopefully the transaction and then both parties need to deliver that means if you bought something you pay for it you need to get the product or service if you bought something so you place an order and you did not pay yet or you pay a down payment you need to get the product or service and then you pay the other half so technically you need to deliver your your part of the agreement so what you need to keep in mind is if you sell something a service or whatever online through the email and it's important to send an order confirmation so hey you tell the client hey listen you ordered this can you confirm it or he by i confirm that you ordered this and you list the product or services in that letter or in the email and then if they disagree or whatever you can tell them let me know if you disagree with this or whatever because this confirmation show that this is your client this is you you have an agreement and this is part of the agreement this is the final agreement and that's something you need to keep in mind it's really important to send the order confirmation most people underestimate that but just do it it's the same as receive so people have a confirmation okay i ordered this for this price this is what i'm going to get it's that simple so what do you need to put in order confirmation if we look at this we're going to start from zero and then we're going to write it down to yeah to a template so we have let's say the subject subject is what you put in your um in your email or when you send a letter but most time people communicate via through letter to email so it should be fine so confirmation of purchase or say purchase purchase agreement right so confirmation of purchase agreement you don't have to call it a purchase agreement but um, you can just give it a name of confirmation of your order or something like that but in this case let's call it confirmation of agreement so how would you start the letter right so give me one second So how would you start the letter? You can start, for example, with the, uh, and then here we put the uh, client's name or customer. Let's put it customer. It's better. The customer. Yeah. Okay. Then the, this email will. Serve to confirm our agreement regarding your purchase of yeah so purchase of make sure you be clear about this make sure you tell the people okay you bought this you can say purchase of if they already pay you can put for example and payment for certain 
as we don't know um, if they bought a lot not one product you can tell certain merchandise from a company or certain products for a company here you can put the products products or merchandise merchandise close it up this is something you can choose though. from a company right so this email will serve to confirm our agreement regarding of your purchase of and payment for certain products merchandise or merchandise from a company so so this is the here in this situation that person already pay so we have agreed to ship the following this is when you order products huh? so if someone order merchandise you can uh, merchandise to you all right we have agreed to ship the following merchandise to you and here you put the items yeah you can put the items but what you also can do is um, if you de deliver the services um, it depends what kind of services you are delivering but um, you can put okay we're going to deliver these services at what date and if they already pay or not but this is just when people buy products this is an example when people buy products so let's go to the next one yeah and this is an important part you agree to abide by let's say or um yeah or terms and conditions and you let's see you agree to abide by our terms and condition and you generally agree to pay for the let's say for the here's the products again so let's say for the products or in this case merchandise or some merchandise yeah let's say they want to pay in five uh, terms then we could put it in uh, in five terms equal terms um, in five equal did I put it right in five equal payments so let's say someone bought a lot of merch and they want to pay it in five terms so you can tell it them in five equal payments yeah it's important to describe when the payment will be for example you say payment will be um, um, here you put a date it's one I will show you what I'm going to do to make this better because we chose five so it's important to yeah so date five is a little bit too much but uh, I assume this is about a um, high uh, high payment so dates so you see here we have five terms right so we put it like this five terms you will see what I'm going to do this one now and then um, Yeah, the payments shall be sent
yeah the payment show yeah no not it shall be receive no later than the date below yeah yeah and then i want to clean this up sooner please sign a copy of please because this is email please print and sign a copy of this email and send it to me so technically you're telling them to print the email sign it and send your copy to them yeah so upon you see of your confirmation of our agreements I shall release shipment of the products so he can put products of merchandise okay merchandise yeah okay we're gonna make it a little bit fancy soon and then since uh, Lee okay I think we can get let's make it a little bit uh, better uh, for mention it it's better and then payment one oh yeah yeah i'll fix that soon <laughs> payment 15 wow now this is four three two so technically this is a letter and because things that we need to fill we need to uh, make them bold because if I put this on the website, I cannot change the color. So I just made them bold. That means change. We need to change. And then here you put the items. So technically, this you can use it also for for uh, how do you call it? For services. So this is for products and merchandise, for example. But you can use this for services. You just need to change and be clear about what kind of services you are providing to those people or to your clients of customer so here and in order to make it really nice let's see what we had with the other sales letter sincerely your name so this is example yeah that's it we create a template that's simple so how does it work you send it to your customer product or services you can put it in here so everything you see with the products you change into the service because service they do not send it or ship it you can remove everything about um, ship so but this I will just only use it for products yeah so technically this is it let me highlight some things i mean make them bold so you can see what's uh what's in it so you know okay this is what i need to change if i'm using this yeah and this is your name your company so i'll also make it bold so you know that yeah so technically this this is only for products i would think maybe i will make later another one with uh, services so yeah 
if you have question about it what you can do is uh, just go on the discord you will see the link yeah martis.bio.link go there go to the last hunter and the last hunter you can ask question about this i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it happen with some work and belief know what i want so i'll take it on i've made mistakes but mistakes make you strong let's break it down for a minute i want the crown i'm gonna get it you hear me loud man i'm winning yeah charlie sheen will be